this is the series Java Programming for Dummies and I'm going to be taking you step by step on a journey for you guys to become Java programming experts. I'm Mez and hopefully by the end of this we'll be able to make some cool apps and we'll have a great time together. So in this very, very first tutorial I'm going to be going slowly. I'm going to be talking about programming and then also showing you guys how to set up Java, install it onto your computer and also install Eclipse which is the text editor that I use. You don't have to use Eclipse but I'll be showing you guys how to use Eclipse and basically Eclipse is a text editor which allows you to write the programming code uh, for Java which then you would later compile and create applications from. So let's get into it. Let's open up our web browser over here and let's go to um, I'm going to put all these links in the description but for now basically what I've done to find this page this is the Java page is I've gone to Google and I've gone um, download Java JDK uh, for Mac because I'm on using a Mac and the very first search click on that first search result rather click on that and then this screen should come up you go download JDK and JDK just stands for Java Development Kit for those who are wondering and this screen comes up this is where I was before there's a list of all these different operating systems so if you're using Linux, Mac, um, Windows I don't know many people who use Solaris but okay um, make sure you press accept I just clicked it you might have missed it but I was trying to click it before earlier on and it wasn't working I'm like what's going on but then I realized I hadn't pressed accept okay so I'm using Mac so I'm going to click on that unable uh, the site wants to crash thank you Oracle let's try it again so you must accept the license yep but I had done that um, okay okay so I've already downloaded so I'm going to download it again uh, I'm, you can save it to your desktop or wherever somewhere where you somewhere handy so I'll let you guys do that. Then come on to um, Oracle. I mean, not Oracle, sorry, Eclipse. So the website is www.eclipse.org forward slash download. So I'll put that all in the description. So don't you worry. And we're Eclipse ID for Java developers. So click on that. So this says Mac OS X 32 bit. That's the one I'm using. If, you, if you're not on a Mac, um, operating system then come up here and change it to either Linux or Windows so I've already done that I, I'll click on it anyway to show you guys and then you just click download here so after once that's done you should get two files that look like this so you got the Eclipse file and then the Java JDK file um, just go ahead and download, uh, go ahead and install both. So the Java development kit, um, I've already got it so I'm not going to do this. Basically just, it's pretty straightforward, double click, follow the prompts, um, unzip this Eclipse folder. Once you do that, um, you should get this other Eclipse folder. And you get something that looks like this, you go to eclipse.app just wait for it to load okay I actually have Eclipse open up open on a different um, I'm going to open up on a different desktop so I'm just 
come back to you guys. Okay, there we go. This is what I was working on before, so I'll just close that. Um, let me just save it. Okay, so if you got a welcome screen, that's fine. Don't worry, your screen might look a bit different to this because I was already working on a project before. That's fine. Um, all you need to go, all you need to do is go in the top left-hand corner, go new um, project, and then the project name, name it tutorial. Um, tutorial one. Let's use words. Tutorial one. And you would have got a message before. Sorry, I've already done this, but you would have got a message to um, select your workplace. If you went to, if just then you went to um, new, and you couldn't click click on Java project, change your workplace to somewhere on the desktop or somewhere in a file, what happens sometimes is it tries to um, set up your workspace in the temporary files and that's not going to work. So if you couldn't click on this before, if there was nothing which came up with it, I think it says um, not applicable or something like that, then set up your workplace um, so that you can click on Java project so what did I have tutorial one I think yep and I'm just going to use that tutorial let's go to that I had already a video called tutorial one I had been practicing for this so it wouldn't let me before So tutorial one, and then let's go up to the top again. Yours will look a bit different to this, don't worry. Go to the top again. <clears throat> go class, new class, and then name it um, test program. The reason we're calling it test program is because we want to test to see if we installed Java and Eclipse properly. So that's that's our goal for today is to test whether we um if we got those two working and we'll see that in a sec all these different uh, options don't worry about those for now I'll explain what those are a bit later on make sure public static void string um, args is clicked I think by default it's not so make sure that's clicked that's very important and then hit finish Okay, so this this should come up. Now we should be on the same same page. If this hasn't come up, then go back and make sure you follow the steps correctly. Uh, we can get rid of that thing I just saw before. That's nothing. And that's nothing. You can get rid of those. We don't have to, but I just like to make it cleaner. Okay, so here it is. Here's our first exposure to some Java code. Um, don't worry about what all this means yet. I know it might be you might be like, what's all these curly braces and brackets and what does public static void mean and all that sort of stuff. Don't worry about that. I'll get into um, what all that means in later tutorials <clears throat> and I'll slowly build up actually. So in the next tutorial I'll, I'll briefly touch on what a main method is but not really. But then in, um, I think tutorials seven or eight, I'll actually do a dedicated tutorial on um, what this all all this stuff means. So do not panic one single bit if you have no idea what's going on. Okay, so all we want to do is test right now. So this you won't we might not know what this is. Actually you probably won't know what this is, but just type it in anyway. System dot out dot print ln which is line and then brackets two quotation marks and um, we hope this works okay so don't worry about this uh, at the moment we just want to test if this works um, our program and 
want to write something else because I already have hope this works down there. Um, testing for the first time. Testing, yeah, testing, for, that's good enough. Okay, let's go save. You can put anything in, in here, really, as long as it comes back out down here. So, save, um, file, save, I've already done that, and then come to this this green button um, which says run and run test program if you followed what I called the class and here it is testing for the first time so that worked um, if you didn't get anything in this dialog box here then something must have gone wrong and just check to see if you have the curly braces in the right spots. Um, the space in between doesn't matter. Computers don't worry about space. But um, make sure you have a semicolon. There shouldn't be any crosses here. Like if there was, that means there's a mistake there. Um, sorry. And that's basically it. And without even knowing, we've created our first program. And I'm not sure if I've touched on what programming is at the start of this uh, tutorial, but basically programming is telling the computer what to do. To put it quite um, bluntly, you're telling the computer what to do in a language that it understands. And Java is one of those languages, and Java is actually a very powerful tool. So basically what we've told the computer is, yo computer, what up, um, I want you to output this this piece of text and the computer's like yeah no worries I'll do that for you mate and that's basically it so tune in for the next tutorial where I'll be looking at data types until then take care